Welcome one more time to everyone, students. I'm going to show you here your classroom presentation tool. Everybody, open your books. Please open your books. Aquí tenemos. Okay. Yeah, we are on the unit number five, I guess. No? We're working on the unit number five. And there it is. Unit number five. Tenemos aquí. The page number 46. Oh, yeah. We must work on the page number 49. No, we did this. We're talking about comparison with adjectives, nouns, thing. We're talking about some expressions, no? Expressing disbelief, saying you don't know, no? Seriously, I don't believe it. I have no idea. I don't have a clue, no? Then we did this, right? The superlatives, right? We're talking about word geography, word geography, and this is the part of the superlative adjectives and nouns. We have to work here. And we did this, yeah? Trabajamos eso, les expliqué, right? La clase anterior acerca de los superlatives. Recuerden que el superlativo, la función que tiene es llevar al máximo, ¿no? Eh, la característica de algo, o sea, un adjetivo. ¿no? Es decir, el más alto, el más pequeño, el más bajo, el más grande, etc. ¿Ya? Es un superlativo, o sea que no hay más. ¿Ok? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más tenemos aquí? Eh, well, we work on the page number 49 for B. ¿no? Nos quedamos aquí. Make true sentences about your country. For example, ¿no? eh, according to this. It says, Bali gets the most sunshine in the dry season. ¿Qué podemos decir acerca de nuestro country, acerca de Perú? For example, podríamos decir, Lima has the most cars in Peru. ¿Verdad? Lima tiene la mayor cantidad de carros. Lima has the most cars in Peru. Y estamos utilizando superlat. ¿Ve? ¿Ya? ¿Qué más? The most fun. ¿Qué podemos decir? Ok. I think the jungle, la selva, has the most fun, right? When you go on vacation. Si te vas de vacaciones o vas a hacer un viaje de relax, I think the most fun, the jungle, right? La selva tiene más cosas o es más divertida, right? Has the most fun. Okay, the most rain. Yeah, aquí podemos hablar, for example, in one, ¿no? Eh, for example, eh, February, March, has the most rain in one, ¿no? Febrero, marzo, tiene la mayor cantidad de lluvias en one. Has the most rain, ¿no? The most tourists. You can say, for example, eh, Tingo María, ¿no? Si hablamos de Huánuco, Tingo María has the most tourists en Huánuco, ¿no? Tingo María recibe mayor cantidad de turistas que Huánuco, ¿no? O podríamos hablar, si hablamos de Perú, Cusco, ¿no? Cusco has the most tourists en Perú. Cusco recibe la mayor cantidad de turistas en Perú, right? Ok, Cusco, Arequipa, ¿no? Those places, Lima, ¿ya? Yeah? Well, now let's go to this part, it says speaking, ¿no? Tell me about it. Discuss your experiences in different geographical locations. What's the most beautiful island you've ever seen, ¿no? Maybe in Hawaii are the most beautiful island, ¿no? O, o Philippines, right? Las Filipinas, yeah, they are great. What's the coldest lake, river, or ocean you've ever swam in? No, entonces, ¿cuál es el lake, el river, el ocean más helado en el cual te bañaste o nadaste? You can think, ¿no? Algunos me pueden decir, eh, I don't know, Higueras River, no, Conchumayo River, I don't know. What's the highest mountain you've ever climbed? What's the, uh, ¿Cuál es la montaña más alta que escalaste? What's the prettiest geographical location you've ever taken a picture of? ¿Cuál es eh, la ubicación geográfica más hermosa o más bonita en la cual te has tomado una foto? ¿Mm? What do you think? No, I, uh, you are not. Ustedes me van a decir, the Lama's Castle, el castillo de Lama. Yeah, beautiful. I have some beautiful things, ¿no? What's the most amazing place you've ever walked through? ¿Cuál es el lugar más alucinante, ¿no? El cual caminaste alguna vez. ¿Ya? Yeah? These are some questions that you have to, or you can answer with your personal information. Now, let's go to the next part, students. This is the natural wonders. Yeah, we're going to talk about the natural wonders now. Here it says, ¿no? Activity one, activity one uh, reading. What do you think is the most amazing natural wonders in the world and why? What do you think? ¿Cuál crees? 
¿no? ¿Qué son oh, para ti? What are the amazing natural wonders? Las, las maravillas in, in the world. ¿Mm? What do you think? For example, Machu Picchu, ¿no? Is one of the seven wonders. Es una de las siete maravillas, ¿no? Yeah, Machu Picchu, Egypt, you know Egypt, ¿no? También the pyramids, the, the pyramids in Egypt, yeah. It says, uh, read the article, what are the seven wonders and where are they? Aquí están los seven wonders and where. ¿Dónde están ubicados estos seven wonders? Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's a seven wonders of natural world. Okay, I'm going to do this. That's it. So I'm going to stop the back and track music and listen. Lesson D, Natural Wonders, page 50. Exercise 1. Reading. Seven Wonders of the Natural World. Here is a list of some of the most fascinating places in the world. Over 5 million people visit the Grand Canyon in the U.S. state of Arizona every year. The breathtaking landscape is 445 kilometers long, 24 kilometers wide, and more than a kilometer deep. Located in the Himalayas on the border of Nepal and Tibet, Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world and one of the most dangerous to climb. But that doesn't stop people from trying to get to the top of it every year. Paricutin Volcano in Mexico is more than 300 meters high, but it used to be a flat cornfield. In 1943, people saw the earth steam and crack. It grew into a new volcano in just two years. The Rio de Janeiro Harbor in Brazil is one of the biggest and most amazing harbors in the world. It has beautiful beaches and the famous Sugar Loaf Mountain. The Great Barrier Reef is not just one colorful coral reef. It's actually almost 3,000 of them. Many plants and gorgeous tropical fish live among these reefs off the coast of Australia. Have you ever heard the crashing sound of millions of liters of water? The Zambezi River between Zambia and Zimbabwe falls 120 meters, making Victoria Falls one of the largest and loudest waterfalls on the planet. The northern lights are exactly what their name suggests, bright flashing lights of amazing shapes and colors in the northern sky. The North Pole has the best view of them. Okay, now here we have no, some interesting and fascinating, because here it says, here is a list of some of the most fascinating places in the world, no? Here it says, over 5 million people visit the Grand Canyon in the US. This is the Grand Canyon, no? And where is this? In the state of Arizona, no? Do you know? 5 million people, that's a lot. Un montón de gente, 5 million people visit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, it says the the breathe and faking landscape is 45 kilometers long and 24 kilometers wide and more than a kilometer deep. That's B, right? What else? Located in the Himalayas on the border of Nepal and Tibet, Mount Everest. No, this is the Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world and one of the most dangerous to climb, no? But that doesn't stop people from trying to get to the top of it every year, no? Here we have another. The Paricutin Volcano in Mexico, no? is more than 300 meters high, but it used to be a flat cornfield in uh, 1943, People saw the earth steam and crack. It grew into a new volcano in just two years. My God, it used to be flat. It used to be flat and now it's a volcano. Amazing, right? Now, the Rio de Janeiro Harbor. Look, the Rio de Janeiro Harbor, no? In Brazil is one of the biggest and most amazing harbors in the world. Oh, yeah. It has beautiful beaches and it's famous Sugar Love Mountain, no? Here, it's very, very, very famous, no? 
Now, the Great Barrier Reef, este arrecife, the Great Barrier, is not just one colorful color reef. It's actually almost uh, 3,000 of them. Many plants and, and George's tropical fish live among these reefs in the coast of Australia, no? This. Um, I don't know, maybe, inclusive este reef, lo, lo mencionan en, en la película uh, Looking for Nemo, Buscando a Nemo, yeah. They mention this reef, mencionan este arrecife, okay, in Australia. Okay, have you ever heard that crashing sound of millions of liters of water? The Sambe River between Zambia and Zimbabwe falls 120 meters. Look, that's amazing, no? No, uh, making Victoria Falls one of the largest and loudest waterfalls on the planet. Yeah, can you imagine the sound? ¿Se imaginan el sonido de, 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 este, de este waterfall? My God, debe ser very, very nice and amazing. Okay, now let's see here. The northern lights are exactly what their name suggests. No bright flashing lights of amazing shapes and colors. The northern lights, no? Uh, in the northern sky. The North Pole has the best view of them. No? Desde el Polo Norte, you can see this amazing view. Well, now let's see. You have to read again. Yeah, you have to read again this part. Oh, yeah. And it says, no, read again and complete sentences with the correct natural wonders. Okay, here we have some natural wonders. Yeah, for example, for example, it says, no, has beautiful beaches. What has beautiful beaches? What do you think? Hmm? The Grand Canyon? Hmm? The Everest Mount? The Volcano? Rio de Janeiro Harbor, the Great Barrier, the uh, Victoria Fall, the Northern Lights. What do you think? If you see here, they says, no? Here, it's the only place that talk about beaches. It has, it, it has beautiful beaches and it's famous sugar, right? Yeah. What, do, what can you say here in this case? The Rio de Janeiro high, uh, Harbor, sorry. No, the Rio de Janeiro Harbor. No? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna place on this way, no? That's it. The Rio de Janeiro Harbor, no? Has beautiful beaches. Now, it's a very loud waterfall. What is a very loud waterfall? Where do you talk about waterfall? Don't they have a waterfall in this part? This is the only way, right? Yes, no? Victoria, no? Victoria Falls, one of the largest and loudest waterfalls in the planet, no? What's here the name? Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls. Okay, La Catarata Victoria, right? Now, what's the next? What's next? It says, is over a kilometer deep. What is over a kilometer deep? Un kilometro de profundidad. What do you think? No Rio de Janeiro, no waterfall, no? What, what do you talk about the, here, right? You have here the answer. It says the Grand Canyon, no? Here it says, it and more than a kilometer deep, even it's more, right? Inclusive is more, poco más de un kilometer, no? Uh, and you have to say here, the grand, oh my God, I have to change this. Yeah, it, it's here, the Grand Canyon. Okay, no? You say here, the Grand Canyon is over a kilometer deep, no? Let's continue. Here, formed in two years. What was formed in two years? Hmm? What do you think? What do you think? Mm -hmm. It formed in two years. I think this, right? I'm going to write here this. Uh, the 
Haricotin volcano, no? It, it has here the answer. It grew into a new volcano in just two years. And let's write here, no? Haricotin volcano in Mexico. That's it, no? It was formed in two years, for more in two years. Next, it says change in shape and color. What do you think? Hmm? Shape and color. We talk about here, the northern lines, no? It says amazing shapes and colors, yeah? Here it says the northern lights. The northern, yeah? The northern lights. That's the answer we have here, no? And finally, it says, is off a country coast. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Here, no? This part. Reefs off the coast of Australia. We are talking about the Great Barrier Reef, right? Let's write here. The Great Barrier Reef. Oh, let's write here the answer. Oh dear. I have to write here the letter TH, the Great Barrier Reef. And that's it. Yeah, we have the answer. Now it says, activity D, run the natural wonders from one, the most amazing, to seven, the least amazing, then compare your answer. This is with your personal information. No, algunos me dirán, for me, this is the most amazing. Para mí esto es el, el, el más este, alucinante, no? el más asombroso. No? You can say the great canyon. Someone can say the Mount, the, the, the Everest, no? and the volcano, the Rio de Janeiro Harbor, no? the Great Barrier Reef. No, the uh, Victoria Falls. I don't know. It depends on you. For example, for me, I think could be this: the Great, uh, uh, the 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 Victoria Falls. For me, it's amazing. No, and the less could be the Great the Great Canyon, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Well, it depends on you. This is with your personal information. Now let's go to the next part, students. Let's work here. What do we have? Here is the listening, activity to listening. The Great Barrier Reef. Oh yeah, we are gonna talk about the Great Barrier Reef. No, it says literally listen to guide talk to two tourists at the Great Barrier Reef. No, which statement surprised the tourist? Okay, which of these statements surprised the tourist? Hmm? Now let's see. I'm gonna play this here. Do you pay attention, please listen, listen and check. Page 51, exercise two, listening. The Great Barrier Reef. Can I have your attention, please? We're here. Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef. How's everyone feeling? Pretty good. Not bad. Great. Now, before we start our snorkeling trip, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this reef, one of the wonders of the natural world. Many people think this is one large reef, but in fact, the Great Barrier Reef is made up of thousands of reefs and hundreds of islands. But we still just call it the Great Barrier Reef, not the Great Barrier Reefs. Is it true you can see the reef from space? Yes. You can? I don't believe it. <laughs> yes, it's true. How many kinds of coral are there? Good question. There are about 400 kinds of coral here. When you go snorkeling, you'll also see many kinds of fish. And you can see turtles near the reef. Really? You're kidding. Now, about snorkeling. Most people are amazed. But sometimes people think the coral should be more colourful. What do you mean? Well, the coral you see on TV looks very colourful. That's because the photographers use bright lights. Luckily, Today is very sunny. I heard that global warming can make the coral appear white. Yes, that's right. Unfortunately, some of the coral you will see are dead. So, are you ready for some snorkeling? Sure. 
Anything else we need to know? Yes, please stay together. Okay, what do you think? Which statement surprised the tourist? Hmm? The Caribbean Rio Reef is made up of many smaller reefs. You can see the reef from space. You can see turtles near the reef. Global warming can make the coral appear white. Hmm? You don't know? Here, they say in this part, students, yeah, when they talk about the space, no? Says in this part, listen. Not the Great Barrier Reefs. Is it true you can see the reef from space? Yes. You can? I don't believe it. <laughs> yes, it's Oh, no, here it says. No, you can see from the space. Yes. <gasps> I don't believe it. No, it surprised the tourists that you can see the reef from the space. My God, it's very big. Yeah? Now, let's see the next part. Here it says, no, listen again, answer the question. How many kinds of coral are there? How many? How does the coral look on TV? What's the weather like today? And what's the guy say too? No, pay attention. Page 51, exercise two, listening. The Great Barrier Reef. Can I have your attention, please? We're here. Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef. How's everyone feeling? Pretty good. Not bad. Great. Now, before we start our snorkeling trip, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this reef, one of the wonders of the natural world. Many people think this is one large reef, but in fact, the Great Barrier Reef is made up of thousands of reefs and hundreds of islands but we still just call it the Great Barrier Reef, not the Great Barrier Reefs. Is it true you can see the reef from space? Yes. You can? I don't believe it. <laughs> yes, it's true. How many kinds of coral are there? Good question. There are about 400 kinds of coral here. When you go snorkeling, you'll also see many kinds of fish, and you can see turtles near the reef. Really? You're kidding. Now. About snorkeling, most people are amazed, but sometimes people think the coral should be more colourful. What do you mean? Well, the coral you see on TV looks very colourful. That's because the photographers use bright lights. Luckily, today is very sunny. I heard that global warming can make the coral appear white. Yes, that's right. Unfortunately, some of the coral you will see are dead. So. Are you ready for some snorkeling? Sure. Anything else we need to know? Yes, please stay together. Okay, now here we have to answer the question, no? How many corals are there? Hmm? Did you listen? They said that there are uh, about 400 kinds. That's a lot. 400, can you imagine that? That's a lot, right? 400. Now, the next question, how does the coral look on TV? Hmm? What do you think? What was the, the, the answer? Hmm? Do you know? He said colorful. O sea, con demasiados colores, ¿verdad? And it's because the photographer, los fotógrafos, por lo general le meten algunos filtros, ¿no? Okay. What's the weather like today? Hmm? He said, sunny. Yeah. Because they say, no, the, the, the tourist said, the tourist guy said, no, fortunately, afortunadamente, today it's, it's sunny today, ¿no? Next. What does the guy say to uh, the, the guy say to do? The last recommendation. ¿Cuál fue la última recommendation? Stay together. O sea, permanezcan juntos. No se alejan. No se alejen, ¿no? Because they are going to do snorkeling. Van a hacer snorkeling. Van a bucear. Okay? Now, let's see. Here, we have the activity number three, the writing. A natural wonder. What do we have to do here? Activity A. Think of a natural wonder in your country. Where is it? 
for example, what, what's a natural wonder in, in Peru? Hmm? For example, we can talk about Machu Picchu, right? Where is it in Cusco, right? What does it look like, no? Amazing. What can you do there? What can you do there? No, you can take pictures, walk, no? When's a good time to go there? Many people say that the best time is in July, right? You can go there in July. Now, let's see. The next part, student says, write a paragraph about the natural wonder. No, use the model of your own answer. Aquí tenemos eh, una pequeña guía, right? A wonderful mountain. Let's see how you can talk about a wonder, a natural wonder, yeah? Did you finish this? I'm going to erase this, yeah? I'm going to move this part. I'm going to move this part. I'm going to place here on this part, yeah? And let's talk about, I'm going to move this, yeah? You can, you can copy here, yeah. What do we have here? I'm going to ask my friend, uh, I don't know, maybe Adriana. Adriana, please listen and repeat. A wonderful mountain. A wonderful mountain. Mm -hmm. Mount to call. Mount to call. Mm -hmm. Is the highest. Is the highest mountain? Mountain in Morocco. In Morocco. Okay, that's right. Thank you very much, Adriana. Now I'm gonna ask another student. Excuse me, uh, Lindsay. Please, you're gonna listen and repeat this part. Yeah, and one of. Is Lindsay there? Well, I think I'm going to ask another student. Uh, Torres, Torres, please listen and repeat. And one of. Uh, one of. The prettiest. The, pretty. the most popular time. The most popular time. To visit is the summer. To visit is the summer. Okay, that's right. Thank you very much, Torres. Now I'm going to ask my friend Camones, okay? Camones, please. You're going to read this part. Many people. Many people climb the mountain and you can, you can hike it in two days. Excellent. Thank you very much, Camones. Now I'm going to ask another student, Flores. Flores, please. You're going to read the next part, Flores. Flores, is Flores there? Hello, Flores. Okay, well, I'm going to ask another student. Maybe who else is here? Ramirez. Ramirez Malpartida, please listen and repeat. To me... To me, the most interesting, the most interesting time to visit, time to visit is the winter. Is the winter because you can ski? Because you can ski. Okay. Thank you very much, Ramirez. Okay. Now. Here, the last part says, no, this is surprising to many people. Here we are talking about some facts about this, a mountain, no? It's the highest mountain in Morocco, no? One of the prettiest. The most popular time to visit is the summer. Many people climb the mountain, no? And you can hike it in two days. That's a lot, huh? It's the most interesting time to visit is the winter. You can ski there, no? Yeah, this is one of the a natural uh, wonder okay sure oh well we're going to skip this part because this is the reading part yeah uh, 
Well, in this part says, make a list, make a list, no? Uh, of top seven natural human-made wonders in your country, no? Uh, for example, hay que determinar, chicos, que algunas son natural wonders, o sea, maravillas naturales, ya, yeah? que se forman, pues, esto... Eh, de manera natural, como su propio nombre lo dice, ¿no? Y otros son los eh, human-made wonders. ¿Cuáles son los human-made wonders? Las maravillas hechas eh, por las manos eh, o a manos del hombre, ¿no? For example, eh, un natural wonder en Perú podría ser eh, Huascarans. Machu Picchu. Yeah. O, pero Machu Picchu ya vendría a ser eh, human-made, ¿verdad? Ok, natural wonder es de manera natural. Human made, hechas por las manos del hombre. Claro, human made vendría a ser Machu Picchu, ¿no? Pero natural wonder podría ser, por ejemplo, en eh, Huánuco, Pichgacochas Lagoon, las lagunas de Pichgacocha, ¿no? Eso no lo hizo el hombre. Son natural wonders, maravillas naturales, ¿no? Por eh, ejemplo, en Huánuco, human made, hechas por el, las manos, este, la mano del hombre, podría ser Kotosh, por ejemplo, ¿no? Kotosh Temple, el templo el temple de Kotosh, ¿no? Human made, ¿ok? And in that way, you, you know, in Perú, chicos, en Perú tenemos, uff, a lot of wonders, ¿no? Si te vas a distintos lugares, costa, sierra y selva, encuentras wonders, maravillas, por doquier, ¿ya? Yeah? Well, we're going to skip this part. Okay, we did this, the natural wonders, and now it's time to work here on the wrap-up. Yeah, vamos a hacer este wrap-up, and we're going to finish with this, yeah? What is this wrap-up about? Quick pair review. Make a list of human wonders. How do you know you have two minutes? This is to talk about this, no? Something that we did. Esto que ya estuvimos hablando, no? Here, the human wonders. ¿Qué tenemos aquí? We have here... Bridges, canal, plus a skyscraper, stadium, subway, tower, tunnel, etc. No, these are human-made wonders. Yeah. ¿Qué más nos dice aquí? Uh, listen, B. If is the sentence expressing this belief, no, or it's saying don't know, right? D for disbelief or DK for don't know. For example, you have one minute. I have no idea. Is when you don't know, right? Cuando no sabes. No, you say, I don't have no idea. Entonces, what do we have to write here? DK, no? Don't know. Seriously, it express disbelief, ¿verdad? Nos expresa disbelief. Como que no cree. Seriously? What else? No way, disbelief también, no? I don't believe it, disbelief. No? I don't have a clue. Yeah, this is don't know. Para, para expresar que no sabes, no? I don't have a clue, no tengo ni una sola pista, ni una sola idea. I really don't know, de igual manera, para expresar, don't know, que no sabes, ¿no? I really don't know, realmente no sé. ¿Ok? Now, letter C, say three comparative adjectives. Can your partner use the superlative forms in the sentence? For example, ¿no? More famous. We have more famous como comparative. Podemos decir, for example, Machu Picchu is more famous than... Eh, Kotos Temple, ¿no? Machu Picchu es más famoso que el Templo de Kotos, ¿no? Ahora, aquí we have the most famous, ok, for example, cuando hablamos de most famous, hacemos referencia al más famoso, o sea, que no hay más, pues, ¿no? For example, the most famous eh, wonder in Peru is Machu Picchu, right? ¿No? El, 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 el lugar más famoso de Perú es Machu Picchu. ¿No? La mayoría conoce a nivel internacional Perú por Machu Picchu, right? The most famous, yeah? Now, listen D. Describe the natural wonder in your country, but don't say its name. Can your partner guess what is it? You have to mean, no, we can describe. In Perú, en realidad, tenemos muchos touristic places, right? Now, let's see. In the real world, what are seven wonders, uh, sorry, what are seven wonders of the modern world? Go online to the library and find information in English about the seven wonders of the modern world. Choose uh, one and write about it. For example, no, a wonder of the modern world. The uh, Itaipu Dam is one of the seven wonders of the modern world. It's in the Paraná River between uh, 
Brazil and Paraguay. Many people in South America depend of dam of power and electricity. About, my God, uh, 400,000 workers, oh, sorry, 40,000 workers uh, help construct in the dam and it's one of the most expensive objects ever built. It's also huge and in fact, it's so big, no? Okay, this is about the uh, Itaipu Dam, but we can find information on the internet, no? Si nosotros queremos hablar de los Mother Seven Wonders, no? It says, no? Look, Seven Wonders of the Modern World. You can write here, no? You can go to Google. Seven Wonders of the Modern World, no? And you have here, information, a two-lies information. ¿Cuáles son estos seven wonders? Yeah, here, no? for example, we have the Taj Mahal, the Great Wall in China, no? Machu Picchu, Peru, no? Está considerado actualmente, ¿eh? The Colosseum of Rome, eh, the Crease of uh, Red Mary Statue of Brazil, the Petra in Jordan, right? Uh, the Chichen Itza, Oh, uh, this is the Chichen Itza, right? In Cancun, Mexico, okay? These are the seven natural wonders, yeah, of the new world, okay? You can find many information on the internet, no? You look here, seven wonders of the modern world, and you can find information on the internet about that, okay? Well, students, we must stop here, yeah? We must stop here. Es el día de hoy, there is no homework. No les voy a dejar homework el día de hoy. I just want to say thank you very much. That's all for today and see you in the next class. Bye-bye, students.